What's up guys and welcome to my first Mutt Draft video. We're playing against That's Bowl 23 and um, before going into this Mutt Draft, I didn't realize how absolutely atrocious this game mode is. It seems like they didn't even change it since like, god I don't know, the game came out. Like the max you're getting is like an 89 maybe. And that's, so that's kind of ridiculous but um, we're just going to go through the draft here. I took Tremaine Edmonds right there. And then we're going to take Nasir Adderley. We're, we're pretty much just going to pick the fastest guy as possible. I didn't hesitate there. Picking Daddy DK every day. No matter what. Don't care who else is up there. Taking DK Metcalf. He's my guy. Um, O-line round. doesn't really matter. We actually take a lot of O-linemen in this draft. Uh, so our O-line is actually pretty solid. Uh, but otherwise, we're just kind of taking speed. Uh, I was going to take Shaquille, but Darius had the better coverage stats. And... Just one less speed, so I figured I might as well take him. Uh, he's going to play better in coverage then anyway. So uh, we take Miles Sanders here. Yeah, again, fastest guy. Uh, he's going to go off in this game. It's going to be pretty fun. Um, and then right here, I believe we take Gronk. Because Gronkowski, we need the tight end. And uh, he's six foot six, so I knew, he, I knew he was going to go up and moss some people. Um, right here we take Jair Alexander. Can't really skip up on that one. Uh, considering like 89 is the highest you can get, so an 87 is actually pretty good for the butt draft. Um, and the butt draft is pretty interesting. I mean, there's no abilities, so it's kind of it's kind of fun to do every now and then. But like, dude, I just it's so boring that they don't add any of the new cards. Like this used to be a game mode updated like what monthly with new cards every single time. Like, dude, I just cannot believe they didn't they didn't upgrade it all that much. So we get 83 Frey Clark right there. Um, we take, who do we take? I believe we took Honey Badger, because we need the strong safety, yeah. Uh, so Honey Badger plays, he's a little short, but it, you know, he's good, he's, he's fine. Um, Tyler Lockett, I got my boys, DK, Tyler Lockett, these two are just, I, I pick bias, bro. If, Aaron, if there's nobody else up on the board, I'm picking with full bias. So I'm taking the Seahawks. Uh, again, I'm going with the fastest guys. I took Justin Fields. Um, 88 throw power, surprisingly, so I took the, the more speed, the one less throw power than Josh Allen, so, uh, definitely taking that. Again, more O-linemen. I'm taking my boy Khalil Mack, big inspiration to me. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, it's why I, um, my number is 52, is, you know, for Mack, and, um, he's my boy, I have a, pa I love pass rush, that's my position, that's my everything, so, um, right here, I believe we took more linemen, so, <laughs> Protection is key. I mean, we took we took someone who could extend the play in, in, in Justin Fields, but I mostly took him because I did take Ravens offense, um, and I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to pick another coach in the optional coach round. We are sticking with the Ravens offense. I also know Jack despises my Ravens offense just because he, he hates having to deal with a running quarterback, and there's a specific little play in here that I want you guys to see. I will pick it out when it, uh, when the time comes. Looks just like a read option, but it's not. It's actually a designed QB run. It's amazing, dude. It is really good. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to... I mean, I'm making my subs here, but we're just going to skip this, and we're going to get right into the game. All right, going into the game, uh, of course, it doesn't show the full top three, but that's his top three right there. I believe it was 80, 88, 87, 87. I'm not sure, but here's my Vita Vea, Jair Alexander, and your boy Khalil Mack. Absolute beast. All right, following the kickoff, this is going to be Jack's first play of the game. And he's going to take a run to the right side. And he's going to actually find a sweet little lane here, making me miss, making me look stupid. But, um, yeah, he's going to cut it back, get a little bit of yards there. Um, so here, second down and seven. Uh, we're going to be running uh, cover two. I, I wanted to keep it uh, a little bit simple, Tampa two, most of the game here. Uh, Jack's got a really good offense for beating cover three. So um, that's what we're trying to do here is uh, contain him, make sure he doesn't get outside the pocket, and we're going to try and run Tampa 2 to make sure he can't, uh, he can't hit our seams, bro. This guy loves his seam streaks. Very frustrating offense right here. He gets a first down, a nice little crossing, shallow crossing route over to his, uh, to his tight end. He comes back down here on first and 10, and it's basically the same play again, drag route to David and Joku. And uh, this one, luckily we got a good tackle. We stop him short of the line again, uh, get him to a second down and four situation. Uh, he threw it incomplete on second down. Here we got a third and four. And uh, Sam Hubbard just goes screaming at him, bro. Just straight up. Look at this beast. Puts him on the ground. And 
forces the incomplete pass here on third down. So we force a fourth and four situation. He's out here. He's going to try and hit the same drag route again for a third straight time. But nope, not this time. I put a hard flat on. And then uh, we try to make a miss. But this man just clicks off, bro. He did not want to try and user me. He knows what I can do on the sticks, bro. He is not trying to look silly. And this is the QB run play that I was talking about in the intro. Boom. Fake the handoff. He takes off. Justin Fields barely shoots doing. We almost had a touchdown. But yet to do that, he's not no read option as a designed QB run. And then right here, very next play, first and goal, running inside zone. His backer is just looking stupid, bro. Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? How tough am I? How tough am I? I had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning. <laughs> yes, so? Without any milk. Uh, right this way. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Yeah, after his blunder by his linebacker, we walk right in with Miles Sanders. So, we're going to score the first points of the game. We're going to go up 7-0 on Jack. Jack's first play of his next drive, he comes out, and he's ready to throw some streak, seam streaks against my cover three. And I'm even trying to disguise it, make it look like cover two and everything, and somehow he catches it still right on the Seer Adderley. How does he catch this? It do, we don't even get a knockout, no animation, nothing. He just hangs on just takes it, bro. Next play, he comes out play action. He gets a crossing on, he's thrown it to the sideline, and we should have had an interception, but we couldn't get our feet inbound, so unfortunately he gets to keep the ball here. Third and nine, going into the next play. We're going back and running cover two again. We're going to put a deep zone there in the middle, and then we're just going to use it underneath. Yeah, but nobody's open, so he's going to try and buy some time. He's going to roll out to his left side. Still sees nobody open, but he's going to force this pass anyway. He's going to throw it right into double coverage, and it's picked up. Picked off by, uh, I believe, Jerry Hughes. Dude's a beast. He's going to take it, take it, take it. Unfortunately, they're too, a little too much swerving, too much weaving and bobbing. So uh, we get slowed down. We get chased down. So right here, we're going to run a fake jet sweep dive to Miles Sanders and take a huge chunk of yardage. And then here on the next play, first and 10, we're going to throw it right to the flats to Miles Sanders once again. Ooh, fit him with a fake spin. Dude, turn her back around, make one guy look silly, but the other guy's there to help his buddy out in tackling. So uh, next play, we're going to throw an out route, kind of a corner route to our, to our halfback again. Touchdown, and we're going to go up 14-0 on Jack. After two straight incompletions, it's going to be a third and 10. Right here, he's going to finally catch me running our cover three. He's going to hit the seams right there with his tight end, and then he's going to move on to the next play. And he's going to run inside zone at a bunch right here. He's running the two-minute drill, trying to get as much points as he can before the half. Um, see if he could to clock me. But right here, bam, tackles, five-yard line. And this is going to take it to the two-minute warning. Very next play, he's running his signature five verts plays, as he calls it. And then again, catches me in a cover three. But this time, he's going to take it, celebrate on me, and take it all the way into the end zone. Uh, that's my bad. I knew he was throwing so many... So many seam streaks, but I should have just stayed with my cover two, but I ended up saying cover three anyway, and I paid the price for it. I mean, right here, we're going to try and hit him with a nice little uh, possible one-point touchdown, but I was more so looking for the dig, but third and five, he gets the sack right there. Right here, I'm going to start screwing around a little bit, and uh, things actually kind of to take a big turn south after this fake punt, uh, and he's going to get the ball here at the 11-yard line, and uh, things are not going to be so good from here. So following my fake punt disaster, he's gonna run a screen to the left side, and he's gonna like whoop, try and break my ankles spinning, trying to get to the end zone. Uh, that doesn't work. We stop him. He takes a timeout. Very next play, he's just gonna run uh, inside zone, and he's gonna walk right in for the score. So and suddenly we're tied 14-14 going in half when we could have been up by at least one possession or two. And uh, so right here, we're just gonna try and uh, throw something up, try and get points for half, maybe try and get our lead back, but. Uh, it's not going to work out too well. We're going to throw a pick on the on, in garbage time. And uh, what we think what should just be ending the half, maybe he runs it a couple times. Uh, no, what happens right here, he's going to go empty set. He's going to throw Chuck a post route over my entire coverage. And he's almost going to score. Luckily, thankfully, it's a miracle. We tackle him down at the one and uh, gave us a little heart attack there at the end. But we did it. We're going to go into halftime tied 14-14. After getting the ball back, we find ourselves in a 4th and 10 situation, desperately trying not to go 3 and out, 4 and out here in this case. Uh, we're going to try and buy some time, he gets an edge rusher free, and we're just going to, this is just a bad pass, man. I feel like uh, part of me kind of forced it, but I wanted to throw the backside dig right here, but like, I just get an inaccurate, he throws it right at the defender, so that's just a little bit annoying, and he takes it for 6, so now we're suddenly we're down 21-14. After being 14 and 0 for a second, and suddenly he's got 21 and answered points. That's that's kind of unfortunate. But right here, we throw to the flat. Man, make a boy miss. Uh, he's luckily going to he's going to drag us down to the ground, but we're going to get a first down right here. 
Boom, very next play, we had in a nice little flood concept to the left side. And we can't roll out, he's got contained. We hit the dig, dig route right over his defender's head to DK Metcalf. He's gonna even fight to get a little bit of extra yardage, and we're gonna take it all the way to the 32 yard line. Another first down. Next thing you know, he's leaving the flats wide open. He's trying to bring an all-out blitz. Miles Sanders, don't even got to make a miss. We just cut inside. Huge tuck of yardage. And next thing you know, we're screaming at his goal line right now. It's going to be first and 10 at the 12-yard line. Very next play, we're running an 0-1 trap. Huge lane up the middle. Another good chunk of yardage by Miles Sanders. He's putting into work today. Man, we're at the 4-yard line. He gets me to a 4th and 2 situation. This is a very, very sweaty goal line play right here. We're running all the way, almost run out of bounds. We're across our body, right into the corner. Oh, what a beautiful play for a touchdown and we keep the game alive and we're going to tie this game up 21 21 going into the fourth quarter jack's next offensive play he's going to come in he's going to get me under pressure he's going to throw a slant from across the side and he's going to get about 15 yards on this play uh, he's going to try and drive down this field choose as much clock as he can he's going to play action on me and i'm just going to lurk the shit out of him look at this beautiful user lurk making guys miss after the catch uh, amazing play by me next thing you know here we go we're on offense now we're going to try and hit him with the space around another dig route deep down the field to mike evans and uh, this one this one's almost going to seal it we get the two minute warning huge play there get really close to his goal line again he's got contained keeping me in the pocket we got a wide open curl route in the end zone mike evans gonna get done on this drive to put us back in the lead 28 21 and we're closing at the end of the game we're getting a stupid offsides penalty right here it doesn't really matter though he's gonna take it with his running back for 10 yards on a screen play doesn't matter if we tackle him in bounds or not we got a flag so gonna stop the clock regardless here we go next play he's gonna try and throw an out route to the sideline good play by him gets another 10 yards first down and he gets out of bounds stop the clock uh, very next play right here. We're trying to keep him in the pocket and uh, he's gonna try to throw another out route kind of corner route uh, But we're making adjustments for we're gonna try and keep everything in balance try and tackle him in balance Keep the clock ticking. We got him in a third and nine situation. He's rolling out to the right side boom wide open crosser He gets to the sideline. He stops the clock again. He's still got two timeouts uh, Luckily we have all three so we can't really, we can't really do too much here He's not the guy to go for two either But unfortunately forces another corner route trying to get into the sideline again and it is picked off by Tremaine Edmonds What a play and that is going to seal the game so yeah, right here the game is essentially over. Uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take knees here. Uh, my buddy Jack, uh, I'm not gonna be super super sweaty. I'm definitely not using my main offense. So we're just gonna run a couple of fun plays here. Go back to the QB rap play uh, and just kind of wind the clock down. Boom, get some pancakes, making guys look silly, looking to miss. And then um, right here, some wild thing just happens. Dude, this is the longest second ever. He ends up calling a timeout and uh, just a cheese on my man's dude. I'm just gonna kick a field goal and we're gonna end the game 31-21. And that's pretty much the end of the game, guys. It was really close to him. Really nice one. We almost choked it. Um, very scary situation for us there. Uh, gave up 21 unanswered points, but uh, we figured it out. And it definitely started when I faked the punt and just kind of started uh, getting a little sloppy there. But we definitely turned around. Uh, we pulled through. We won the game. Miles Sanders was definitely a star of this game. Uh, Justin Fields definitely a star of this game. Mike Evans was great on that one drive. Uh, to give us the lead back it definitely got us some momentum back so it was a really good game ggs to my man uh that's bull 23 he has a youtube channel but he doesn't post much on there uh but either way i might link him in the description uh we'll see but um these are the stats right here definitely miles sanders was uh very very effective he did not, nothing flashy in the, in the stat line but he was definitely a big reason why we we're able to open up some other guys downfield and get some things going so totally a fun one definitely want to run it back sometime with jack and um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.